Right now we're doing more virtual shows because we can't have big opening parties, um, which has actually been um, pretty fun. We've had uh, submissions from Japan and Tennessee and oh, cool. Canada. And so artwork that um, we never would have seen before. Um, right. So that's that's pretty awesome, which I think is going to stick uh, in future shows. Um, we have themed shows at the shop. So about every three to four months, we change the theme so that artists have a direction, but we aren't pinholing them into, um, you know, a very tiny box, but we're at least giving them a, you know, a nudge of, of something instead of, Hey, draw something. And you're like, oh, I don't know. What do you want me to draw? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm always better with like a little bit of it, like give me something to gnaw on, you know, to draw. So, yeah. How do you run your virtual shows with with everybody now trying to find ways to work online? That's the most difficult part is like, how do you do it? Because we all know how to do it publicly. You know, we all know how to you put stuff in a room and you lay it out nicely. I mean, clearly that's your background. But how do you transfer that to uh, visually online and managing that? Like what what's the process for a virtual show? Well, it's it's definitely not as fun. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> We've had in the past um, pretty good sized parties. I mean, the shop is jam packed with people. Yeah. Um, we sometimes have live music. Uh, the lady down the street makes cookies that are themed to the show. Um, you know, it, it, it's a good time. So that is impossible to kind of bottle and put online. Um, so it's basically just a an online kind of portfolio with sizes and prices and stuff like that. We still do themes, um, and we're just kind of showing everything that, that came in. So um, we don't have to be too specific uh, because we only have so much space at the shop that when we have in-person, sometimes we can't take all the submissions because we just don't have the room for it. But, um, you know, online we can just – pile it on so and are you live streaming it or are you taking photos and putting it on a website like what's the process for how people interact with it yeah on our website for the shop um there is a gallery like drop down page and okay. so you can see um the recent call for art what's hanging either in the shop or virtually now and then you can look at post um shows as well okay to kind of see different themes and see what you missed. So. Okay. And so that when you said that someone from Japan had submitted art, like they sent it to you and you have it there? No, we just have it. Um, we have a high res picture of it and all the information. Gotcha. And if it sells, then they would ship it to the person that, that bought it. Okay. Yeah. I like that. That's so that is as if it, it's using the concept of the web as the store and instead of them having to send it to you, you're going, this is our virtual store. Mm -hmm. Their stuff is connected. See, that's the beauty of, uh, I hate, I keep saying that's the beauty of what happened from all this. It seems, but I, I want to spin a positive on it the, from There's what happened. Yeah. It's, it's the fact that there are, I, I feel like online, there are so many people I know who are like, I need to get to that eventually. And, you know, and now it's like, everybody's been forced into it, which it's tough. And yeah. it's not easy, and it is a different way of thinking. Like, like I was saying, it's not just in arrange the chairs, hang this in place here. This is where people are going to look at it. It's it isn't that. There's no like right now. Right. I mean, I my place is a mess, but you can only see this much. Um, right. <laughs> but it's the it's the connection, and also the fact like with me talking to you right now. You know, yeah. that's, that's the beauty of all this. And that's what I, that's what I do love about this. And I, that's, that's the one positive I want to spin out of all of this. And it's given everybody the opportunity to really find more exposure and more people. And I think that's super cool that you guys are doing that. When did you start? When was the first one that you did? Um, that is a good question. Um, we would have had one and um, so every time we open up a show, we, the next day, or the next weekend, we say what the next call for art is. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine it would have been um, June probably that we had our okay. first one. We had already had a call out, and so I was like, oh, well, instead of having people drop stuff off, we'll just get pictures and, and yeah. post it up. 
you know, the show still must go on somehow, some way. <laughs> okay. And when people purchase this stuff, how are, I guess how, this is another one that's really tough too. How are you connecting the, the artwork with the people who are purchasing it? Like, do you have a cart that you're handling yourself? Are you embedding their button to it? Like when you sell the stuff, how do you, how do you manage that? That, that is probably one of the most difficult things to do is to actually manage a cart. Especially right, with right. Multiple people. Yeah. So what, what's your method for that? Yeah. So um, it's been fairly easy um, just following up. You know, you just got to stay on top of emails. If something's purchased, then you just email them and say, hey, this got sold and here's their information and 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 go at it. And then we just send them a check and, and that, and that okay. works. Yeah. yeah. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> it's like, and that's all it is. Fine. <laughs> don't oh, tell no. me. No, it's just magic kidding. of Squarespace website. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. No, that's great. I, I'm glad. And, and no, I'm happy that it's that easy. I mean, that's, that's the thing is I think uh, what makes people most afraid is that it's going to be this really difficult thing to manage. And there's so many businesses that are built around making it easier for people that it's, it, you just got to kind of try it and trial and error and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, We've had a few years to warm up to it too. I mean, uh, the the show would stay up for the entirety of the show. So when people bought things, we still had to keep track of who bought what and you know who do we owe this to and that to. So um, in this sense, it's a little bit easier to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, all virtual. Yeah. Okay. That side of it, the business side of it, anyways, is a little easier. So. 